Hey guys, it's Kai. Because so much of what we know about dinosaurs we learn from movies like the popular Jurassic Park series, here are 10 things you didn't know about dinosaurs that may help you determine fact from fiction. Number 10, dinosaurs nested in colonies. A fascinating group of new fossils discovered in the Gobi Desert show that some dinosaurs nested in colonies. Scientists from Japan discovered an undisturbed nesting site in Mongolia in the summer of 2019. 50 eggs were found in 15 nests, all of similar size, shape, and unusually well-preserved. Because they were coated in the same distinct sediment layer, it is believed they were deposited there in a single nesting season. Paleontologists suspected that the dinosaurs nested together for some time, but until now, they did not have definitive proof. All found within one unique sediment layer, the eggs and nests provides a very definitive evidence that the British prehistoric animals nested together. It is believed that not only did they nest together in colonies, but they also stayed and protected their eggs through hatching. Other fossils found in the same area revealed three adolescent dinosaurs roosted together at the time of their death. In each of these discoveries, the species of dinosaur had not yet been determined, but both are suspected to be theropods, carnivorous dinosaurs who move about on two legs. These finds are particularly exciting and offer a new insight into the complex and social reproductive behavior of dinosaurs. Number nine, the lifespan of dinosaurs remains a mystery. Although paleontologists are able to tell a lot about dinosaurs by looking at their fossils left behind, they are still not able to determine how long dinosaurs lived. By looking at modern day birds, reptiles, and mammals, paleontologists are able to theorize how long dinosaurs lived, but even still, these are only well-educated guesses. Looking at modern reptiles, like the giant tortoise, who is able to live up to 100 years, the belief is that the lifespan of dinosaurs must have been around 100 to 150 years. But not all dinosaurs are created equal. Giant dinosaurs who are able to maintain a constant internal body temperature are thought to have been able to live longer, with scientists estimating lifespan to be about 300 years. By using scientific data and looking into current living species who are around when the dinosaurs were, scientists have come up with a theoretical estimate, but it is still difficult to pinpoint the exact lifespan of individual dinosaurs. Number eight, the T-Rex is related to the modern day chicken. Research published in an edition of Science in 2008 illustrated fascinating claims about one of the most feared dinosaur species. The belief that birds are descendants of dinosaurs has been a popular theory for decades. But new research leads scientists to believe that the closest living relatives to the T-Rex are birds, such as chickens and ostriches. In 2003, scientists discovered fossilized material inside a T-Rex bone. Because the bone was too large to fit inside their helicopter, they had to break the bone in half. In doing so, they were able to retrieve molecules of collagen inside the bone and were able to compare them with 21 living animals, including chimpanzees, mice, chickens, ostriches, alligators, salmon, and even humans. The most fascinating find in the collagen was most similar to chickens and ostriches, with its next closest match being alligators. Because chickens and ostriches are only distantly related to one another, the research is still a little clouded on what kind of birds might be the closest relative to the T-Rex. However, scientists believe that by gathering data from molecules other than just collagen would help them to determine whether the fierce giant of the dinosaur could possibly be related to common birds that we know today. And now for number seven. But first, do you know what sound dinosaurs make? The answer might surprise you. Have you subscribed yet? If not, be sure to click the button and the bell so you don't miss out on more cool videos. You can learn a lot from these things. Number seven, dinosaurs didn't roar. Much of the traits that we come to take on as facts about dinosaurs are really only speculation. Ask any person to mimic the sound of a dinosaur and they would probably roar. However, new research suggests that dinosaurs never roared. By looking at birds and crocodile-like reptiles, which are the closest living descendants to dinosaurs, a 2009 study in the journal Historical Biology studied the way different animals make sounds. Crocodiles and mammals make a sound through a vocal organ called the larynx, while birds use a syrinx different from the larynx, but found in many animals, including crocodiles and humans. By looking at a fossil of a duck and a goose ancestor found in Antarctica in 1992, researchers were able to more clearly determine what dinosaurs really sounded like. Living 66 million years ago, during the time of the dinosaurs, scientists looked at the bird's fossil, the oldest known voice box ever discovered. By combining evolutionary history and anatomy, researchers determined that dinosaurs sounded most similar to the living ducks and geese. 
Carnivorous dinosaurs were also thought to sound similar to other carnivores, such as lions or bears, who roar when they attack. However, this research provides a different view of what dinosaurs may have sounded like. The question is, how terrified would one feel if a dinosaur honked like a goose rather than roared like the dinosaurs depicted in the Jurassic Park movies? Number 6. Argentinosaurus, the world's largest dinosaur. Discovered in Argentina in 1987, the Argentinosaurus is the world's biggest dinosaur. Since it was discovered, paleontologists continue to argue about the length and the weight of the dinosaur. Reconstructions put the dinosaur at 75 to 85 feet from head to tail and weighing 75 tons. Others believe that it could have been measured at a total length of 100 feet and weighing 100 tons. Using fossil evidence, these estimates would make it the biggest dinosaur on record. Because of its size, the Argentinosaurus is classified as a titanosaur, a lightly armored seropod which lived on every continent on Earth in the Cretaceous period. Because of its enormous size, the Argentinosaurus is said to have only moved at a top speed of 5 miles per hour. Scientists also believe that the Argentinosaurus eggs measured about a foot in diameter and that females were able to lay up to 10 or 15 eggs at one time. One of the most remarkable facts about this species is that it took three or four decades for the dinosaur to reach its full adult size. Although paleontologists haven't yet found a complete Argentinosaurus skeleton, their size makes it easier for scientists to determine when they have found one based on the size of their vertebrae and their ribs, as well as the size of their femur, which is best known to measure five feet long. While there are two other dinosaur species that could possibly put the Argentinosaurus out of the running for the title of the world's biggest dinosaur, this gargantuan find in Argentina doesn't necessarily need the title. It is quite remarkable on its own. Number five, dinosaur bones were medicinal. Although you may not consider dinosaur bones to be a delicacy, villagers in central China may beg to differ. In 2007, researchers discovered that people in a small village had been using dinosaur bones for medicinal purposes. As early as 2006, fossils were being dug up and boiled with other ingredients to treat dizziness and leg cramps. Other times, the calcium-rich bones were ground and turned into a paste that was directly applied to fractures and other injuries. It seems remarkable to believe that until recently, the fossils were being sold in Henan province as dragon bones, but it is true. A team of researchers discovered the strange practice when they excavated a 60-foot-long plant-eating dinosaur that lived 85 million years ago. When the locals discovered that the bones were from dinosaurs, they realized that the dragon bones they had were in fact bones of long-lost dinosaurs. After the revelation, the villagers donated 440 pounds to researchers. Even more amazing is that over the last two decades, it is estimated that the villagers had dug up an estimated one ton of bones. Number four, the Spinosaurus may have lived underwater. The largest predatory dinosaur to ever roam the earth is called the Spinosaurus. With a crocodile snout, webbed feet, and measuring 50 feet tall, it is the only dinosaur that is known to have lived much of its life underwater. Although the bones of a Spinosaurus had been discovered by a German paleontologist in 1912, the bones were sent back to Europe but were later destroyed during World War II. However, when another skeleton was found in Morocco, the aquatic origins of the beast became even more evident. With a long neck, strong clawed forearms, and powerful jaws, the Spinosaurus, which lived 95 million years ago, was said to have propelled itself in water with webbed feet. The spiny sail on its back is believed to stretch seven feet tall, perhaps acting as a navigational tool. While most scientists believe that all dinosaurs lived on land with only occasional brief trips into the water, the Spinosaurus skeleton showed clear evidence of living in either a river or a lake. With hip bones that were similar to a whale and dense bones that allowed it to dive for food, it also had nostrils that were positioned high on the skull, allowing it to submerge most of its body underwater. Measuring nine feet longer than the T-Rex, the Spinosaurus made an appearance in the movie Jurassic Park 3. However, its aquatic origins and the fact that the two dinosaurs didn't live on the same continent or in the same time period shows that sometimes it takes a little digging to get down to the real truth of the ancient origins of dinosaurs. Number three, the T-Rex wasn't always big. The Tyrannosaurus rex is probably one of the most feared dinosaurs, but did you know that for 80 million years they were the size of humans? When six new Tyrannosaurus species were found in 2009, their fossils suggested that the T-Rex had a mysterious growth spurt late in its lineage. 
Before this time, there were only about five or six different T-Rexes, and they were all very similar. However, these new species, which spanned 100 million years through the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, showed that the species ranged in size, from small dogs all the way up to how we know the T-Rex, which could reach 40 feet from its nose to tail. Although you might assume that all T-Rex species looked the same, there were physical differences between them. Some had longer arms, while others had relatively smaller heads. During 100 million years of evolution, the T-Rex evolved until 80 million years ago, when they went through a sudden growth spurt which made them into the towering, fearsome creatures we all know today. Because the Middle Cretaceous period isn't very well represented in the fossil records, paleontologists are still unclear on why the T-Rex underwent such a huge growth spurt. Number two, most dinosaurs were vegetarian. It's safe to say that in most movies, dinosaurs are depicted as meat eaters. However, a new study done in 2010 showed that researchers believed many dinosaurs were in fact herbivores as opposed to carnivores. It makes sense that theropod dinosaurs, bird-like dinosaurs that walk on two legs and often had feathers, preferred to eat leaves and grass. In studying 90 theropod species, scientists believed that a large number were plant eaters. Although most people believe that theropods hunted prey somewhere during their evolution to birds, the predatory dinosaurs became more focused on vegetarian rather than meat. By studying the teeth and jaws of dinosaurs, as well as fossilized dung and stomach contents, Scientists believe that these traits point more directly to species having been plant eaters. One of the theories for this evolution is the belief that continents broke apart. The theropods had to adapt to the food around them. With less food, they lost their teeth and developed longer beaks and necks in search of plants to sustain them. Although scientists still do not know why feathered dinosaurs eventually took to the air, became birds, one might think that by looking for food in trees instead of on ground, they quickly adapted as ways to survive. Number one, the first birds had dandruff? A group of researchers who traveled to China in 2012 to study fossils of feathered dinosaurs discovered something quite curious. When analyzing fossilized fragments of dinosaurs from the Cretaceous era, the scientists discovered strange flakes of skin they believed to be similar to dandruff. While they were originally there to study the feathers, they kept finding small white blobs in between the feathers, which they later determined to be preserved as fragments of skin. Researchers believed that dandruff evolved as a response to the presence of feathers and also shielded the dinosaurs from temperature changes. While the modern birds have fatty dandruff cells that help them shed heat while they're flying, there was no evidence that these birds had these fats and their cells. This suggested that they had lower body temperatures than modern birds as they were transitioning between cold-blooded reptile and warm-blooded bird. It also suggests that these creatures are either not able to fly or are only able to get off the ground for short periods. Thanks for watching. Did you know any of these? Did any of them surprise you? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you later.